Hello guys, how are you today? I'm going off to a different farm, one you haven't seen yet. And this is really messy. This farm came about because I simply wanted things for events. Now, I haven't been to this farm in 25 days, so I've got uh, 25,000 gold. This is what I wanted to show you on this farm. Ooh, and there's a whole lot of money to be made right there. So first of all, you know, we're, we're here. We're here in my little town center with like all the things that are messed up. And this farm has got, you will notice um, in the upper right hand corner there with the little stopwatch that shows our season. I've got, I had 10 million diamonds, 10 million um, ribbons and 10 million tickets. And this one was just, you know, I want to, actually I clicked on one of them by accident and then went the hell with it, just leave it. Um, this one I, I, I had started making just to have extra spot for events. Those little creepy trees there were from Halloween here a couple of months ago. Um, yeah, and, and a lot of the a lot of the plants in here are just or fish, whatever, are very specific. However, as the, as it started to level, I decided to do, you know, I'm gonna redo this one day and actually build it into something proper. I'm pretty sure I will do that. So I've got some money making the, the Gabura Daisies are over here to make some money. And this is my fishing section. And I've got every one of the fish in the game. And they've got this long canal that goes to them. Now, I could just put them in a big clump where they're all together. I just happen to like the way this looks. That's all there is to it. Here are my money-making plants. If I go and get some experience points, I'm going to be making a whole lot of gold as I level these. But uh, I'll get to that another time. This is what I've done with the fish. So I don't have the exact same amount of every fish. You see, this has become available, and that's okay. Little Farmer Joe over here will get to it. I have put these little, can you see these little tiny boundaries, little wooden boundaries between them to keep them separated? There's no particular reason for that, except I happen to like the way it looks. So my fish are neat and tidy. And I've also put a whole bunch of these rubber trees in here because they're giving me diamonds on an ongoing basis. And you do spend a lot of them. So I have made it so that when you click on him, on his little stand here, you can see that the you know each one of the fish has a canal that brings one square of it into the area of his control. That's it's all there is. And I've put trees in the rest of it and he will magically make all of that done per season. He will harvest everything that needs doing. He just, you know, look here, you can see what we're getting. I've got 6,000 gold on that one. And he'll pick a tree, and he toddles along. But it looks slow, but he gets it done. He gets it done every season. There's no problem at all. So he'll work through that, and that's what I've done with fish. Um, I'm sure there's lots of, there's probably other more efficient ways to do it. I have left space here because, oh, that's a mistake that didn't get picked up. But, uh, you know, I could plant trees along here. I just haven't done it yet. That's all. Yeah. And I've got all the happy sharks back there because they give you more storage so that I can store, you know, a lot of fish. You can see there's different amounts of storage. And the fish is, you know, here on this one. So there we go. I don't have a warehouse in here yet. This is a smaller farm. But I got the fish sorted out. And back here I've planted these. This is a plant that gives you a lot of diamonds. I'm working on getting all the trees along here. You can see I've, you know, put in just a few so I can count the spaces where it needs to be. Um, yeah, this, this is very much in the works. I've had to level it enough to be able to buy the land because you can only buy each block of land as you level. So I've had to do a bunch of things to be able to level up enough to get other places. But uh, yeah, over here, you see the, all the yellow. There's a whole bunch of houses because I had unlimited diamonds and all this stuff. I, um, I just built them all. I just went for it. And this is um, a warehouse, but I don't have apparently enough vegetables to be able to pay for the next level. Now, this thing is the farmhands union. When my 
farmhands. I have one, is it the only one? I've got one there and I've got one here. When they need paying, there will be the, the little pink box over this telling me that I've got something to do here. So I'll have to just, just click on it and it'll, if I have enough of the tickets, it will pay for, uh, it'll pay them to do their jobs. Yep, there we go. So we could, you know, we could go into, whoops, that was just a mistake. Recycle this tile, yep, thank you. We just go into this house now to, to shop in here, you click the Q button and you've got, you know, the same little shopping area, but in all different stuff. So I would grab this and put this down. Now I want you to notice something. I need tickets before I can buy the thing to make me tickets. So you start with that one. That is the first one that you will have because you have no choice. <laughs> so you'll put that down first. And then you will come up to it and it says it's ready in the bottom left hand corner and you will learn to build, you will learn to cook something. And I have a lot of fish here, so I'm going to click on fish. And we will start that and that's how you will get your very first tickets to be able to buy the next one. And then to get the, you know, to get all the things and you can only have two ovens and two, um, and that's an oven as well, and one of each of these other things. And then you can just decorate. You can just decorate till your heart's content. And you see some need diamonds, some need tickets. You go through a lot of tickets when you're decorating in case you've missed that. And there are lots and lots and lots and lots of options. A few of these will have come from events like prop that one during Halloween, duh. Um, some of the moony things, there's different cabinets, counters, different styles. And that's kind of cute. I think that was from, I think both of these were from various events as well. Now the windows, the windows are epic cool in here. Okay, so if I go over here and go, I don't want these. Okay, so I am going to hit the recycle button, X, the, the X one and recycle them and now I have no window at all however I can pick whatever kind of window I want now this was a Viennese house first let's go to the wallpaper and this is Venetian oh well isn't that just clever do we want to go with a creamy color a plain white sort of a gray blue. this might look nice with blue things and I say yes and the whole room gets done over. I can click on the queue again, go to the floor, and maybe for this, mm, a gray or a cooler wood would work better, wouldn't it? The slate, oh, let's go with that, yes. There it goes. And what kind of windows would look good in here? We'll go back to the window thing. Now some of these are lights, but windows give light during the day too. And it doesn't matter what kind of window you put in. So there's this oriental thing. There are these long drapey things. Uh, that's a red. Doesn't seem like it fits all that well, does it? What's this? Oh, that's a wall. Okay. Hmm. These are shorter. What is that? Ooh, wrong color. Not good. That might be our only sane choice. <laughs> Not really, yeah, I guess this is it. Okay, we're gonna go with this. And, uh, you know, if I hit the uh, shift key here, I can just put in some more. Now, if it were day daylight outside, obviously it's not. The sun would just be shining through here. Yeah, so if we wanted to make this, um, you know, classical, that that's a, not a good curtain. That is really not a good curtain. That might have been better. Maybe go for like a gray and red or something for this, possibly. That would have probably been a better choice. And you can recycle and you go, yeah, you know what? Not really keen. I'm going to hit the X button. Oh, look, and the sun is just coming up. Look at the light pouring through your windows. Isn't that lovely? That's so cool. 
I didn't know for the longest time that I could actually remove the windows. I was, I, I was so excited. I was just so excited. I thought that was epic cool. And apparently you don't have to hit the shift key. You can just put the darn things up anyway. It will hold it until you're done. There you go. No shift key required. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so there. Lots and lots of light pouring in. And then you can start decorating to your little heart's desire. Isn't it cute? Toots, toots, and burps. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the fish. And then there's another little hint and tick trip there. And this, I can do this now. Thank you. Good job. So there we go. There we go. Oh, I just got a chill. Darn it. Okay, so I think this one is done as well. I wanted to show you the fishing and the farmers in here and uh, how that was going to work. And then you got to learn a little bit about something else too. Till I see you next time, guys. Live your lives happy and build it beautiful. Bye-bye.